det er jo uundgåeligt, at også for drengene, at det er sådan en revanchekamp, og det kommer til at fylde meget, at okay, du skal møde Midtjylland igen, og vi, selvfølgelig vil vi gerne vise, at det der det var en, en ener. Against Midtjylland, last week, we lost the game. Because the intensity was not good, the aggressivity was not good, everything was not good enough. Of course, we want to win. We always have on Thursday morning the meeting with Kali Mir, the analyst, and uh, Espen, the goalkeeper coach, Kunde and me, uh, talk about uh, the uh, things from the opponent, of how we want to play against the opponent. Okay, squad, Saturday. Yes. For me, and Kunde, I think for you also, uh, we talked yesterday about it. First eleven is this, Valema of no one to go, Valema, Saya, Philip. Lucas. We make sure that we always have an overload when the ball is played out wide, so we push on the pressing trigger. You can see the space between the left back and the center back, how far out they come. And then we bring that back uh, on the training and the pitch. Come to here, press to here, press, press, press to here. Come on back, yes I'm back. Up, 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 up. We have press one blue. Up, press and everything, come. Make it the family, make connection. In the family, right now, the strikers need you guys. Right now, the strikers need the family behind them. Okay, guys, we go inside. Yeah, we're gonna show you some clips about the press for Saturday. We play there, that we would like, because him here is the one who is here. Him here, just a little bit comes on. En øh, modsat 9'er, der går ind, vi har en 6'er der med over, vi har en 6'er der på vej, vi har en 10'er der på vej. Vi spillede en dårlig kamp, nu spiller vi en god på lørdag, og så er det fint igen. But 45 minutes, give everything, guys. Give everything what you have, yeah? And win this game. Okay, guys, come on, good second half. Come on, hey! Are you kidding me? Fucking hell, it's just running with the man. They were really, really disappointed with the loss. Uh, they were really also disappointed that they create a lot of chances but don't score the goals. 2 one nederlaget var, var nok i virkeligheden det, der gjorde mest ondt, fordi vi, vi synes vi, vi leverede en god præstation. Vi synes de ting, vi havde talt med drengene om, de ting, vi havde fået arbejdet på, egentlig virkede. Total guys, also after game, I, will, I was proud if you um, play a 5-1 lose in the first match with a really bad performance, also mentality on the pitch, then you want to see a revenge feeling in the group, and I saw really a revenge feeling. They fight for every meter, they fight while fighting on the pitch. Mentally, with the guys, we are already busy with the game on Wednesday, so uh, there was a short post-match about that game, short thinking about the last game, Michelin, and it was already head up till um, the derby day on Wednesday. What's your first feeling about this game, Philip? Okay. Det betyder meget for hele klubben i et eller andet sted. Jeg tror også, det betyder meget for dem derinde øh, i København. Og øh, drengene er, er åbenlyst mere præget af det. Vi møder faktisk rimelig tidligt, øh, og så har man nu lige været ude og kigge på banen, og den er så helt hvid. Øh, og der er nogle udfordringer i forhold til nogle regler, som gør, at den ikke må blive ryddet. Men i hvert fald var der ikke øh, nogen bane at spille på, for den var helt dækket af sne. Og vi prøvede alt, hvad vi kunne at få sneen væk, men det kunne ikke lade sig gøre, så det blev sådan en kamp mod tiden i forhold til, at solen skulle nå at clear banen. Og vi ville rigtig gerne spille på banen 2. Altså for os er det, det er en fed bane at spille på, der var mange mennesker, øh, det er en god følelse, vi har det godt på den bane. Så det var mega, mega vigtigt for os, at vi kunne spille der. Det var vi glade for. Vi var rigtig glade, at vi 
dommerne sagde okay, og FCK sagde okay. Så. Four minutes. Okay. Maybe some players I think right now I am crazy, but I give you four minutes now to grab into yourself. When I was a player, maybe I was crazy, but sometimes I visualize, you know, moments in the game, what's going to happen. Think about that moment. Right now, go in your, in your head through the press. They're going to build up like this. Nilas from the inside, we press, Lucas ready, we get the ball over there. We are Brumby, we play at home, but odd pitch to what we want, and we're going to kill Copenhagen. Is it agreed? So it's a good game, guys. Come on, kill them. Yes, come on. Vi får egentlig fornemmelsen af, lige fra start af, at det her kan blive en ligekamp af min følelse. Oh my god, that's the fucking first bit. God ball, Lars. Kom, Nilas, sharper, sharper, Nilas, kom, Nilas, kom, Nilas, kom, 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 Nilas, kom, kom. Godt, boys. Fucking hell, I thought. Boom, so they're the forward and we send it. Shit. We start very good and uh, they come once to the goal. They shoot three times. We block here uh, two times very good. And then a ball uh, from the reflex, it's a goal. And I think... Men så går det faktisk altså ret kort tid efter målet, så, så begynder vi at sidde med fornemmelsen af, at vi, vi kan spille dem ned, og vi kan yes. presse dem. Go, Nilas, go, go! Går vi bag 1-0, men vi synes jo faktisk, vi var dominerende i presset og med bolden. Og så kommer vi tættere og tættere på pausen, og det bliver mere og mere sådan, at vi har virkelig brug for at score inden pausen. Yes, go, man, go, 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 do it again, son, up! Hey, kom, boys, fremragende her! Fremragende spil, boys! Så det der mål, vi scorer, øh, Nilla scorer lige før pausen, det synes jeg er afgørende for, at, for følelsen. Fordi den følelse, vi går til pause med, er den her kamp indenom. Right now we play Grossmanner, guys. They are, they are, they are doing this. But we keep them of this moment nog in life, because we don't score. They are mentally not prepared to lose a game. Just be ready after 2-1, and after 2-1, the second chance must be 3-1. Focus on that goal. Make the goals. Bring yourself back in the game, and we go. Agreed? Yes. Come on, come on, guys. Yes. To the middle, yes, like that. The guys were so ready to, if we don't have the ball, to win the ball back. But if we win the ball, to create the plus everywhere where we was with the ball, with runnings, with depth runs, with dribblings, with with a fast combination to go to, uh, go to the goal. If you play Brumby at home, that must be in hell for every opponent to come over here. Yes, this victory uh, it means a lot for uh, everyone and, uh, and definitely for the players. Hey, strong game, man. Good job, man. Sorry, that's all right. Some damn, man. Now it's time to. Uh, Celebrated in the dressing room with uh, Faxi Kundi. Hey boys, det var ikke det var ikke fire mod Lyngby eller eller Sønderjysk. Det var fire mod fucking FCK, ikke? Nu skal vi vide, man fejrer det. Kæmpe, vi kommer tilbage efter to kampe, vi har tabt. Kæft for det, fucking fedt mand. Ikke? Vær nu glad mand. Tillykke med det. Godt boys. Kom nu op mand. Vi kunne ja give Pelle på 15 debut. Det var fedt, det var fedt for ham, det var fedt for os. Der er B4-1, mand.
Okay, before we start to sing, I give the word to Pelle. His first minute. Hey, 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 hey. 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 For the rest of the spring season, what do you expect to see? I hope we can bring a lot of 15 players in matches to um, uh, the coming period that they can uh, feel the, the level uh, that we uh, yeah, uh, go on with, um, uh, with the process and that we can uh, every time and uh, uh, the, the training sessions is a real battle between the players so that they can improve and of course the, there's not some tournaments, uh, cup game is coming. I hope we can come far in the cup. We have a lot smaller groups now than we had before winter. So there are, we have learned a lot about how it should be handled structurally, how it structural, should be handled with players that one day are at one place and the other day at another place in relation to their feelings about it, in relation to training with smaller groups and then Stor gruppe, og vi vil ikke kalde det rodet, men alligevel lidt mere, lidt mere rodet øh, i forhold til, hvordan man får en bedst muligt ud af det. Øh, og så, altså, det der med at rykke spillere op, gør jo også, at der er nogle andre, der skal træde ind. Øh, og der har der ligget enormt meget i at få, få de næste til at overtage i det samme. Altså gøre det samme som dem, der er blevet rykket videre i systemet. Done. And we talk all... It's done. And we talk a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Men det er klart, at uh, jeg skal i bade inden hver gang. Ikke? Normalt så vil jeg lige kunne slappe lidt af. <laughs> og også skal trimme sig og håret og altså det er jo. Ja. Hvor dejligt bliver det pænt skælde fra et til ti at slippe for at skulle sætte ord på tingene hele tiden langt med dig eller andet? Ej, det bliver godt. <laughs> det har været hyggeligt. Det har, ikke, det har været fint. Uh, vi synes, jeg synes, det har været godt for... for jeg synes, det er godt med opmærksomhed omkring drengene. Jeg synes, drengene gør det så godt og, og knokler så hårdt. Så jeg synes, det er fedt for, for alle i Masterclass, at, øh, at folk kan få lov at se, hvor stort stykke arbejde, der bliver gjort, og hvor meget drengene gør for det, og hvor meget de lægger i det. Nu er det slut. Nu er det slut. Men det har været en fornøjelse. Vi har været glade for det. <laughs>